Okay, if I were ever given the opportunity to write an autobiographical storybook for episode one, it would probably have to be titled something like, I am a fan of the prequels. If I were Qui-Gon, it would probably have to be titled, I am a Jedi. And that's exactly what happened here. This is part of a series of books uh, published around 99-2000 by Random House. I think they broadly refer to them as their Random House Star Wars storybooks. And they're storybooks that just largely adapt the some of the major scenes relative to Qui-Gon and some of the other characters I'll talk about in a little bit from the film, with just some basic illustrations and some basic narration guiding, uh, mostly children readers through through these really brief stories um, that don't introduce a lot of new content really much at all. It's really just a storybook style sort of narration through illustration and brief text through the events of episode one. Um, although it's the Random House uh, storybook series, there are a few other ways of identifying this. One is sort of with the Yoda up here who's on the cover of every book and he's sort of saying, read you will in a sort of funny backward fashion. So some people kind of think of these as the read you will books. And there's other, there's one other way of sort of broadly identifying these books, although it doesn't work in every case and, and you'll see why in just a bit. There's sort of the I am a blank series. So this is, I, it's kind of a lot of glare, sorry about that guy. So this is I am a Jedi. And just like I am a queen. I am a pilot. Kind of neat to see this because of how much we hear about in episode four about, you know, what a great pilot Anakin was and Obi-Wan met him. I am a droid. Here we go, C-3PO, before the armor. And then here are the final two books, and this, by the way, complete set for episode one of this series. It doesn't exactly have an I am a blank title, but it's about Jar Jar. It could have been called I am a Gungan or something, and it's called Watch Out Jar Jar, basically just about lots of the wacky things, wacky, uh, you know, things that happened to him on episode one. And then finally, Anakin's Race for Freedom. And again, this is just, you know, if you've seen episode one, which I'm pretty sure you guys probably have if you're watching this video, this is basically just a storybook adaptation of his uh, of his pod race where, where he ultimately wins wins his freedom from slavery. Um, do you need these books to know more about the EU? No, not really at all. Are there things about them that are still neat? Oh, of course. I mean, one of my favorites is I Am a Queen, particularly for the level of detail it gets into. I mean, for a children's book focused sort of broadly on just trying to tell a story through illustrations, I mean, it gets into an insane level of detail. I mean, you guys might remember some of these themes, some of these scenes during like the invasion of Thede. I mean, it's telling us the, the specific names of all these characters in the background, you know, all of our handmaidens. Um, you're learning about people like you know, the, the master of sciences on Naboo and the music advisor and Padme's education regent. I mean, these are people who you see in the film who appear in a couple of other things in the EU, like the Phantom Menace comic books and things like that. But beyond that, I mean, they're, they're not really around much. But amazing then that the level of detail given for a children's book, right? You get to know, about, know, know more about these folks. And I think that's really cool. So that's something I definitely recommend, you know, picking these things up. Again, do you need them? No. I love the prequel era, particularly the early prequel era. I don't know why. I'm partially nostalgic for it. I wasn't really young. I was in college when this came out, but it was just kind of an exciting time. It was part of the next wave of Star Wars EU. So um, I describe anything with uh, with Episode One uh, related content. So I, I was definitely keen to pick these up. Again, this is a complete set for Episode One, although Random House did continue the series through Attack of the Clones. And they published, to my knowledge, at least two more, and I'll talk about those in a different video, kind of with the same style. I am a, and it's, I am a bounty hunter, and I am a, um, a Jedi apprentice. So I'll, I think that's the title of the second one. So I'll, I'll talk about those later. And to my knowledge, there are no for, there, there are none of these in this series for Episode Three, unfortunately. Um, what else to say about these books? Well, again, not much. I can show you sort of briefly. I mean, I showed you a little bit with I Am a Queen. A few of these, incidentally, had stickers. And if you can find these, try and find ones that still have the stickers. They're really cool. Um, you know, again, basic illustrations. You know, here's Watto in the shop and things like that. So, again, you're not really getting lots of original content, uh, really, to, to, to say, you know, any content at all. Um, but the thing about this one that I have always really liked is... Uh, the Anakin's Race for Freedom. It's just on the final page here. Here's another Here's another set of stickers. But um, it's this scene right here, and this isn't something from the film. Um, this is basically after they leave, safely leave um, Tatooine on their way to Coruscant. Um, you know, Anakin's now free. He's won the pod race. And here he is with his, what we as the audience know is his future wife, um, sharing a pretty heartfelt moment. And uh, 
Anakin's basically just saying, see, you know, I finally did make it to the stars. And I think that's a really neat moment. Um, you know, so it's it's kind of cool. It just gives you a little bit more insight into the burgeoning relationship they had. And uh, you don't have to, if you, again, you just took the movie view, you'd sort of say, well, gosh, like a few years has passed and they haven't seen one another. No, like this is really setting up just kind of how close they were, even at that early period of time. And so, you know, go figure. I mean, that's the great thing about the EU. Even in something as simple and random as children's storybooks in episode one, you're getting really kind of neat, touching glimpses into these characters and who they are and and what they feel. So, yeah, the Random House Star Wars Storybooks, Episode 1, or sometimes known as the I Am a Blank series, or sometimes known as the Read You Will series, um, pretty easy to find, um, pretty inexpensive. They're, these are not exceedingly rare, not exceedingly valuable, um, but really fun things to give to kids who you're trying to turn on to the prequels or Star Wars or really anything else. So, yeah, check them out, and I'll be back at some point in a future video to talk about the Episode 2 storybooks and to talk about the mountains of additional Episode 1 related EU content that uh, you might not even know that exists out there. All right, guys, talk to you later.